Welcome to Elsa Win. We're going to show you how to use Elsa. It is all your manuals for the whole VAG group, i.e., repair manuals, wiring diagrams, times, everything. A very comprehensive bit of kit. This is running on a virtual machine, so we'll click on it, like so, and get it opened up. Right, here we go. You want to click on Else Win. As you can see here, it's just come up, cannot open database. Do not worry, click on OK. OK there. Go up to your corner here on this little man. Click on Login. The only reason why that happened is because it hadn't fully loaded the database and we clicked on it too soon. That's all. It's not a problem. What we have to do here is put in your password, what will be admin, and down here, admin, then press OK. Scroll down here like so, click OK. These are all safety warnings, so if you want to read through the notes you can. And here is all your selection. Now today we're going to have a look at current flow diagrams, workshop repair manuals, technical service manual you won't that will not be available again it is only an online function function dealer only so let's have a look at our current flow diagrams today our make is a Volkswagen model year it's a 2016 sales model again this is on your data sticker Ours is a CC and it's a 358. Click on that. We we'll click on engine code and our engine code is CUVC. You also have an option of gearbox code and our gearbox code is QYX. Once you have filled all these details in, click on OK. If there is another little red cross, you must then click on again the option and put in the full sales model. This does not always ask you to do it, so do not worry. Click OK. Now, here you can see this is for all our wiring diagrams. Now we're going to have a look at engine and we're going to have a look at the exhaust gas recirculation valve. So we open this page here 
and here you have your wiring diagrams with all your numbers if you look to the side down here it will tell you exactly what they are and where they are and again if not sure just look at the numbers there J519 onboard supply control unit and there's even a little photo that we can click on what you can do then if you need to carry on tracing the wire you will look at your numbers down below 12 or 22 you can click on 22 and that's going to take you down here where you come off number 13 and that's going to J907 if you want to know what J J907 is that is a starter relay for example this is a very comprehensive wiring diagram it tells you all the colours locations fuse locations as well if you look here SC4 again it's say fuse for on fuse holder C. Now we've had a look at the wiring diagrams, we're going to have a look at the repair manual. So if we click on workshop guide, just click OK there, and again go to the top, OK. We're going to go into power unit. We can have a look at the fuel supply system. You've got technical data. What is very handy. You've got safety instructions. All on here to open up if you want to close that down close that down let's go and let's have a look at fuel filter fuel hoses engine compartment click on that and here you go here's a list of everything if you click on here then read all the information below all very handy and very useful for diagnosing problems you can run this with Odis and Elsa if you need to lots of lots of useful information we can even go to fuel pump if you want to just out of uh, interest removing installing jet pump or you've got checking fuel system pressurization system and we'll put that on there click on here we go it's telling you here what to do there's your connectors it's telling you all about the hoses that's a specialist tool required what you may or may not have and we're now going to try and find in our workshop repair manual the glow plug control unit so we're going to type in J179 click search here and here we have it it's just brought it straight up and again if you look here and read all this it gives you a whole list of variations what you can do from removing the air filter obviously to get to the control module
and here it's giving you a lot, list of options, ours is a CC and here you go and just run through exactly what it tells you very straightforward with diagrams as well very comprehensive very easy to use so what we're going to have a look at now is get the information for doing a cam belt because that's a quite commonly used or done thing on motor vehicles so if we go to engine cylinder head and valve gear open that there and here we go it's got tooth belt drive we're going to open that you can have an exploded view if you want to and you've got remove and installing tooth belt so we'll open that and then we're going to click on it and again you need to select without SRC or vehicles with we're going to go without and here you go move that over so you can see and again lots of pictures all the information read it do what it says step by step and that will tell you how to do the cam belt on your car you've got bleeding fuel system and these are other chapters that you can click on and you have your Pacific Talks as well if you want to have an overlook, overview and this shows you all the items that are fitted and you probably need to remove here we're going to click on here for your time intervals so we click on that see there's a little red cross here so if you click on that that's what we want you see now the red cross has gone OK that and this is for your repair times and here you go here and if you scroll down you can look at all your different operations with all your different times please remember the time units are in a hundred so 50 represents half an hour for example and here you are tooth belt replace that should be ours and it's saying 2.9 hours for the job listed here's another useful uh, bit of information it's service tips so on this box here strictly maintenance very handy to know what you should do at what years and what mileage now if you want to go back to the start and start again with a different car click on new process there and off you go again now we're going to close Elsa wind down so all we do is go up to there close that go up to there close that down it must be closed properly okay that you can use Elswin and Odis at the same time if you need to and fast PC because obviously this is very useful for if you're testing things electrically etc and here we are back to our home page